the Tower of Americas in downtown San Antonio to here at Blossom Athletic Center. The volleyball playoff fixture is falling into place. It's another District 26 5A showdown here exclusively on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel, and it's up next. to Littleton Gym here, where we've got a fantastic matchup here for you tonight between the 33-1 Winston Churchill Chargers and the 27-5 Reagan Rattlers. How you doing, everybody? I'm Humberto Cervera, joined, as always, by Jamie Blair. Jamie, let's talk about the rivalry, the big-time matchup. Down the middle, blocked! That was number 16, Ashton Corona, on that one. Reagan seems to come out here fired up. Now, what Churchill's got to remember is Reagan has scouted and watched video. Reagan is the underdog in this match, and they know exactly what every player does in for Churchill. Churchill needs to move their hitters around. That's a little okie doke right there. Carly York, the center for, uh, excuse me, for Churchill, the junior, she's one of the best in the business. You see her go up, she's tall, she plays all the way around. Pope, the 5'7 senior. On the outside, Reezer gets that one to fall. Yeah, Reezer does a nice job here, putting it down in front of Pope, the setter. Churchill's running a perimeter defense against Reezer, hitting from the outside, and Pope just plays too deep. She's almost at 20 feet back there. Normally in perimeter defense, you only want to be at about between 14 and 16 feet. Capet answers. With well, a big swing of her own. Tell you what, Hummy, this sure is a match. And another one. Martinez with the slam. Fifteen twelve. As I talked about earlier. I'd like to see, and I know Coach Holkren would too for Churchill, see the Churchill middles get going. It's gonna pull the middle blockers and keep them true for Reagan. So Churchill can try to get Buckingham going. Buckingham desperately needs that, and the Chargers need her as well. Kolbinski gets it across. On the outside, Buckingham gets that one to go. Then Buckingham gets one set back by Reeser. Yeah, Buckingham expecting a quick set in front of her. The set comes back towards her and it's off the net. She's got to stop her approach and go straight up. York sends it across and that one falls. That could be it, 8-11. Churchill down by three, working their way back in. A good solid point. Three great solid digs in defense. Go back to her to try to side out. Buckingham blocked by Reeser. And that's exactly what they did. 2017 the score here. And we see the second and final timeout of the fourth set by the Churchill Chargers. And this is desperation time if you're Churchill, hubby. Reagan has done everything they've needed to do here. They've won the battle on the net. Throw everything else out the window, okay? Kobinski blocked again. Churchill down by one. Whoa. There's an odd, uneasy energy rolling around this crowd right now. That's right. All right, Hummy, we go into a timeout. That one. But Razor. That'll do it. That'll do it. Reagan takes this one by the skin of their teeth, 27-25. They win it three sets to one. All right, we have Coach Carter standing by. Coach, first off, congratulations on the huge win. Thank you. Staying undefeated in district. 
I want to talk about that that third set. Churchill kind of came Let's late talk it about on. the first, the second, and the fourth. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Congratulations Thank again, you. and we'll see you later on this season. Good deal. So the player of the game, that's pretty easy for us here tonight. Number 11, Ashley Reeser. Jamie, what did you see out of Ashley here tonight? Well, coming into tonight's match, we have seen this kid play, and we know where she's going to school. We know what she's got ahead of her in her next career. Uh, after high school, but I never knew she could play up to this level. She willed her team back after losing game three. She got off to a hot start in the match tonight, and she was the one that pulled through in this win in four sets against the Churchill Chargers. And we have her standing by right now. Ashley, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on being named player of the game. Thank you. They're late in that four set. It seems like things were kind of falling apart. Things could have gone the wrong way for you guys, but you kind of seemed to will your team to that win. Just kind of talk about what was going through your mind on those last few points. Um, I knew that we had it. We were up two sets and they had one set. So we were on the offense. So we should have like that. Whenever you have that advantage, when you're up two sets to one, you have to take care of business and get the fourth set. And there's no going to five. See yeah. you later on in the season. Good luck. Thank you. All right, that'll do it for us here tonight at Littleton Gym. We like to thank Northeast Independent School District as always. Of course, the Reagan and Churchill High Schools. Thanks so much for letting us broadcast this game for everybody working on the floor and back in the truck and, and handling all the curveballs that we're throwing at us tonight. Of course, for Jamie Blair, I'm Hubert Sabetta. Good night. We'll see you next time.